it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So we're back with Mickey Mouse. So it's a special request. They don't want to use glitter cardstock and he's all black. So it's going to be tough to hide the seams. So let's make this as big as possible with as little seams as possible um, and using regular black cardstock. So that's a challenge because it's not going to be that big. He's got this tail. Um, so what I'm thinking is, and he's black just everywhere. So even if we slice down the face, right, it's going to go through the body. So if we obviously we don't want to slice anything over here because there's so much black, right? But then there's going to be a seam through the body and through the legs. So I feel as if we can't slice him at all lengthwise which means we're limited to 11 and a half. So if we did 11 and a half now, the tallest he can be is 14 inches, but he's got this tail, right? If we sliced off the tail right around here, no one would see it and his tail would be one piece and then where we would tape it is underneath the red shorts. That would give us, um, let's put him to the edge. That means we could go Here's one inch, two inches, about two and a half inches. So if we add two and a half inches to this, that would give us 14. So let's make him 14 inches wide. And that makes him 17 inches tall. I think that's the best we can do. All right, so let's look at this image. Okay, so we've got our black background. We have a white one for some reason. I don't understand that one. We can just delete that one, okay? Now let's um, let's build our black background, okay? So he is 14 inches by 17 inches. So he's basically four squares. So let's go to our squares, bring in one. We'll make it 11. Well, let's make it I'm gonna do it 11 and a half inches. Ah, this project, okay. So basically like that, we just slice him in half, okay? So actually what we can do is, so I wanna slice him right around here, but you see how he's um, slanted? I wanna cut across, I wanna do something like this. So let's rotate him for a second, okay? And the reason why I wanna rotate him is, do you see right about this line right here? If I run it through the seams, it's running all in red. You're not gonna see that seam very much because the red is gonna, the red shorts are gonna sit on top. So I kinda want it right there. So this seam is gonna be right here. It's all covered by the red, except for this little tiny seam right here, okay? And I can deal with that. That's okay with me. Oops. Hold on. So, right around there. That will cut that in half, okay? So, let's move this one over. Because this image is so small, we're only going, you know, 18 inches. We actually don't need to build a square or our grid. Okay, so you, you want our 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Let's take this grid. We're going to um, grab this and hit the shift key and grab the black background and we're going to slice. So what that does is here's our top half. It's 9.9 .9 by 11.2, right? So we can cut that on the Cricut. Here's our bottom half. You're gonna to have to attach the, the hands um, and you're gonna to have to attach this, right? This is a little bit long right now, but we can slice off the tail right here. So let's um, actually, hold on. Let's duplicate this for a second. 
let's get rid of that. Let's separate this piece, okay? So we're gonna go to contour. We're gonna separate this piece out. Let's see how big this is. Oh, you know what? 12.3 by 5.28. Let's rotate this guy. 11.5 by 7.9. Let's rotate him a little bit more. Yes, 10.99 by 8.9. Perfect. He's in two pieces. Well, three, because you gotta technically, you know, get this little hand in there. But his tail is seamless. He's got one seam running across. The pants are gonna cover it. So you see what we did there? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move this over. Let's get this one. We need to contour this out. So contour. Let's get rid of this and this, right? Because we need this piece. We're missing the hand. So here's our hand. These three pieces, just grab all of them. They should be black. So go to here and change it to black. Okay. Now our welding, we can get rid of, or our slicing, we can get rid of this. Get rid of this. Um, oh, we have to ungroup it. So go ahead and ungroup it right now. Okay, so all we have left are all these single pieces that we need to deal with. So here's the face. Um, the face is 4.6 by 4.8. All these pieces should be fine. 4.4 by 4, 4.5 by 4.5. Shoes are good. All right, this, we should separate this so that um, it's more efficient on the cutting mat, okay? So let's just grab a square and we're gonna slice our way out of this. So let's slice the eyes apart from here, okay? So I'm grabbing those two items and slice. So here are our eyes. And now let's get rid of our slice results. Okay, let's do one glove at a time, okay? So let's stick this glove down here. And so when you're slicing and you want to piece things apart, the one piece that you're separating needs to be completely covered by whatever shape that you're using. Everything else needs to be outside of the shape. Make sure you only grab two items to slice. So I'm grabbing the white and the square and I'm gonna slice. Okay, so get rid of your slice results. We don't need that. Now I'm using the same square. I'm getting this glove in, and you see it's close, right? There's a little piece hanging out right there. I'm gonna move it over. I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit to make sure that my glove is completely in, because you gotta make sure that glove is in, and then the buttons are out here, right? I'm gonna grab here, and notice I still have a lot of stuff over here, but as long as my cursor is only picking up the white and the square, it doesn't matter that there's an extra glove over here. That's still just two items that my mouse picked up, okay? So slice. And so now I have my two buttons. I can slice out my buttons as well. I can do this and just grab up this top corner, right, and slice. Okay. So here we go, we can get rid of all of this. So here's one glove, here's our second glove, our two buttons, and our eyes. Okay, so this we can get rid of. All right, you have Mickey Mouse, and he's all done. Let's go to the Make It screen so you can see what it looks like. Okay, at least one of your images is larger than an 11 and a half. We know it's the, the tail one, and it's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix that, okay? So here's our white. If you wanna make this more, oh, click okay. If you wanna make it more efficient, you know, you could do something like this. We can change this around quite a bit. We can move this closer. We can move the eyes down here, or maybe even switch it a little bit. So now it fits in almost a five by four piece of cardstock. Okay. All right. Let's skip the black for now. Let's look at everything else. Here's the tongue, cute little face, the shoes, the red shorts. That's it. Okay. So here's our black. 
If you don't have a 12 by 24 mat, which I do, but if you don't have it, then you you just want to make sure that you have a 12 by 12 piece up here, okay? So you just need to trick the system like this. So you got to turn it so that it fits in a 12 by 12 piece, right? This guy is still good. You can put him in here. This can cut on a 12 by 12 mat. But this guy, you need to click on the three dots, move object, create a new mat. He's black, confirm. So here he is on his own mat. This one, because it only has a 12 by 12 piece that's cutting, just put it on a 12 by 12 mat, put a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock on top, and it's gonna cut fine. As long as you don't have anything down here, it's gonna, it doesn't matter whether you use a 12 by 24 mat or a 12 by 12 mat. That's how you would fix it. Now, if you have a 12 by 24 mat, which I do, um, but you don't have 12 by 24 cardstock, that's okay. You would do this, and then this is what you would do. Let's go grab this guy again. Um, click on the three dots, move object. I like, I use my 12 by 24 mat for everything. So I'm gonna move it back over here just so that you can see what you would do. If you don't have 12 by 24 cardstock, you wanna make sure you can use it like this, put two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock, just make sure nothing is cut along this line, right? Because if you do something like this, it's gonna cut, um, yeah, you don't want that. Your 12 by 12 piece of cardstock needs to have the 12 by 12 in that cardstock here. So avoid this 12 by 12 line then you're gonna have a perfectly cut Mickey Mouse, okay? All right, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or questions, and I will see you next time, unless you have a special request. Tell me comments or um, post a comment and then email me at anan at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys, bye.